Hi guys, my name is Lala. You're welcome to another interesting tutorial. Today, I'll be teaching us how you can cut a hood and attach to your basic um, bodice pattern so that it could be a hooded top or a hooded jacket. Yes, so basically you need your basic body patterns and then this jacket or hooded top is going to be a very free one, so easy breezy. Now to draft the hood, we need two basic measurements. First of all, you place a tape around your head now not here at the middle okay and go this way then your termination point should be your um, collarbone so I'm going to do that again like so and uh oh sorry okay this way so my termination point is going to be my collarbone here so I have um 32 inches so I'll just put it down length of hood 32 inches then the second measurement we need is the width the width of the hood so you take a tape around your head and measure now if you stop here if you stop this way there's tendency for the hood to be falling off okay so you want to just extend this forward a bit depending on how um you know how you want it to fall towards inward so just then probably just face a mirror and just check it so what i have here is 24 inches so the width of my hood is 24 inches so these are the measurements i want to be needing to construct the hood but before that let me show the basic bodice pattern i've already drafted okay guys so on the table here i have my basic bodice pattern i'll just do a brief explanation of what i've done so um for this hooded top it's not it's not a crop top and it's not a normal top it's in between so the length of my body is um, 23 inches okay now um the back is on fold and the front is going to have a zipper now what i did was on the chest line okay um i didn't mark my exact um bust circumference i my bust circumference is 38 i made it 40 so that you know it's supposed to be a free jacket so this is 10 plus one is in allowance then on the hemline okay I just took away half inch so this is 9.5 then one is same allowance okay like i said it's not a crop top and it's not a full top crop top should be somewhere around your navel but mine is a bit longer okay so um that's that meanwhile front and back bodies are the same thing the only difference is the front bodies has one inch zipper allowance now let's go to the neckline now for my neckline okay um I used, um, let me say, yeah, I did 3.5 inch for my neck width and I did um, 4 inch for my neck, yeah, 4 inch for my neck depth for the front. Okay, now, um, in case you're a plus size or in case you're not comfortable with uh, the neckline, if you want an increment, please let more of the increments be on the neck width and not on the depth. Very important. Then for my back, Okay, I just came down by one inch for the for the neck there, just one inch. Okay, and the neck width is still three point five inches. Okay, so um, I'm gonna take this off now and go straight to the drafting of the hood. Okay, we're still going to be needing this. So I have another pattern paper here. So this is my pattern paper okay so i'll be drafting okay sideways so that we can see what i'm doing so first of all i'm going to draw a margin i'm going to draw a line okay like so so this line is going to be my front okay now this line this is my front or let me say my center front here then um Remember the calculation, the, the measurement I took initially, the length of the hood. Yes, so the length of the hood I measured was um, 32. Now you're going to mark half of um, the length of the hood. And I measured 32, so half will give me 16. So this is it here. Then I'm going to draw two, two horizontal lines. Two horizontal lines this way. And 
in that way like this okay so from here to here is 16 inches from here to here which is half the length of my hood and this is the front now i'm going to mark half of the width now the width i could say that we mentioned was 24 inches now half of 24 is going to give me 12 so i'm going to mark 12 this way and 12 that way so all together i now have a rectangle so this is my center back okay this is my back and this is the front okay and this is supposed to be the um tip of my head i hope that is making sense okay so first thing first first thing first i'm going to find the difference between my front and back um bodies okay the difference in the height so let me just take off the lining to make it easy so this is it this is my front bodies and this is the back bodies so i'm going to place them together like this i hope you can see what i'm doing so make sure um, the two shoulder tip mates okay then this excess here is a zipper allowance at the for the front okay so after you place them like this please take note i have added the same allowance to the fabric okay so i'll just uh, measure the difference between the front and the back bodies the height so i'll just check so from here okay i think let me just let me use the pattern paper so that it will be easier for us Okay, so I think it will be much easier working with the pattern directly. So, uh, what you just do now is you take note of the difference between um, the front and the back pattern. Okay. So, I have pinned them together at the shoulder and this is the um, zip allowance for the front. So, I'll just take my tape like so from here. I'll measure. So what I have here is about this is 2.5. So the, the difference in height between the front and the back pattern is 2.5. So I can keep this aside. So <clears throat> this is the part that will be attached to the neckline. So I'm going to mark the 2.5 inches upward, like so, 2.5 inches. Then I'm going to just draw a line, but I won't let the line get to the end here, just something um, more than half of the rectangle, okay? So the next step now, I'm going to get my front pattern. Then I'm going to measure the neckline, okay, minus the zipper allowance. So let me just fold in the zipper allowance so that we don't add um, any extra measurements. Okay, so I put that in the zipper allowance. So I'm going to take my tape and measure the neckline. So let me do that. So this is, you, know, you have to do this very carefully so that you don't add to the measurements. Okay, so what I have here is about 6.5, but I want to um, measure it again. Now this is 6.5 okay so what i have here is 6.5 now i'm going to place my tape okay from this point okay and slant it until i have 6.5 on this line here so uh, this is 6.5 inches then i'll take my ruler and then Plant this. Can you see? Meanwhile, the neckline is not straight in nature. You know, it's a bit curved. So I'm going to use my um, pattern master and create a kind of curve in form of an S shape. Okay, since the neckline is not straight, so this is what we're going to be working with here. So I'm going to remeasure it because now that the line is curved. There's tendency for this to be longer than this. 
so i'm going to measure again what i need is 6.5 so i'll measure measure okay so after measuring i have a little shift so this is what we're going to be working with now and not the first point because the line is now curved so after i've done this then i'll get the back pattern for the bodies for the back pattern i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to measure the neckline so let me do that so i'll just measure carefully so i have four here okay so i'll now take my tape from this second point and not for the first one i'm going to measure four inches and i'm going to mark it like this okay all right then next thing i'm going to find the midpoint of these two points here i'll find the midpoint um this is 13 and a half so that should be about six three quarter here yeah. then i'll use my ruler and connect here like this can you see what i've done okay then i will just draw a small box here to form my angle 90 okay then um we need to form the curve of the hood so as a guideline you can just measure two inches down like this so i'm going to connect this here and then next i'll try to connect sorry let me see how i can face the camera so i can see okay then here we go i'm going to link here so just make sure you try to blend it well so that you have um, a smooth curve okay then here also i'm going to blend it like this can you see so um the hood is ready then for this um, lower part here okay you want to just um come down a bit like um quarter of an inch here then you just link this back so that you have a proper balance on the neckline like this yeah so i'll just blend here and that's all the hood is ready that's all so here we are this is the hood let me just make it maybe looking funny now but by the time i cut it out i'm trying to blend it properly so this is it this is the hood so we're going to be adding half inch seam allowance round all round okay so i'm going to cut out i'm going to cut this out So I'm cutting around along the core. So right now, what I want to do now, I want to transfer everything on my fabric, and I'm also going to be lining this. So, I'm going to be adding half inch seam allowance round and I'll come and show us. Alright, guys, so I finished transferring into my fabric. So you can see my hood. I added half inch seam allowance round, okay? So I have four pieces here. Two is serving as my lining, two is serving as my fabric, okay? So we'll go straight ahead to the swing right now. Now, the bodies also has lining too. So the first thing we're going to do right now, we're going to open up um, the back bodies like so. Okay, then take one piece each of the front bodies and join them together at the shoulder. At the shoulder. And I'm going to do the same just here at the shoulder. I'm going to do the same thing for my lining. Then for the hood, you pick up your fabric. Okay, then you sew from here all the way like this. Come up. And then 
you end the sewing here like you're, you're sewing like around the seat so i'll do this for both my fabric and the lining don't forget this is the center front and this is the center back so let me do that okay guys so i finished joining the bodies together front and back at the shoulder so this is um the front okay and of course this is the back so then for the hood i sorry i made the mistake the other time i said we should sew it round um like a c no so you just start the sewing from here all the way down and stop at the center but don't need to complete here please sorry that was an error so you're sewing from here all the way down and you stop here so this is the center back now i'm going to take my bodice then you create a notch at the set um neckline of the back then i'm going to take my hood okay um right side let me just turn this over yeah so right side is the right side let me turn it over and show us then please make sure you clip um all this the curved part here make sure you clip it with your scissors so by the time you clip it over to the, wrong, the right side Okay, you won't be having um, any tight corners or folds, okay? So, this is my center back. I'm not going to place it here. Like this, right side facing the right side. Can you see? So, center back on the hood, center back on the bodice. I'm going to pin it together like so. So, make sure you start your sewing from the middle here. So, you sew... You sew from here up to this point same thing from here up to this point now don't forget that you have a zip allowance in front one inch and your hood shouldn't get to the zip allowance don't forget so I'm going to sew it and I'll do the same thing for my lining okay guys so I'm done I'm um, attaching the hood to the bodies can you see so this is my front bodies and this is the back and this is my lining same thing so i'm going to make right side face right side right side face right side okay like this so i'm going to go ahead and turn the armhole fabric to lining on this side same thing i'm going to turn the armhole fabric to lining okay it's this way the armhole i'm also going to turn it like so then we'll go to the next thing okay so after turning the armhole we are going to have something like this so this is the inside okay we're going to have something like this and this is the second side for the armhole. It's a sleeveless um, hooded jacket and um, top, rather. So what I want to do right now, I'm going to um, join the side seam. So I will be just joining lining to lining, fabric to fabric on this side. Same thing here, lining to lining and fabric to fabric. So let me do that quickly. Okay guys, so our hooded top is um, gradually coming out. So this is the inside, okay? Now the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to hem the top. Okay, so but just so that your lining is not coming out, what you want to do is you, you want to reduce the lining by half an inch before you um, hem it, okay? So that it's not coming out when you're wearing it. So i'll just reduce this by half an inch just the lining please just the lining so by the time you do this the lining becomes shorter than the fabric okay so i'll go ahead and hem the um this part then i would also be turning the hood on the wrong side please so i'm gonna start from here 
on the zip allowance i'll take them go round and terminate at this other end of the zip allowance here on the wrong side so let me do that okay guys so this is it you can see the hood all sewn very clean inside and then the hem of the top so the last thing for me to do now is I'm going to fix my zipper and show us how the jacket looks like. Okay guys, so I'm done sewing my hooded top. So here it is, okay? So this is the back, okay? So if I like, I could 